everyone, Pam Gregory. I'm going to be speaking to you today about the first half of August and in particular the new moon that we have coming up in Leo on the 2nd. But just to remind you that right at the end of July on the 29th we had Uranus going stationary retrograde and whenever a planet is stationary its symbolism is highlighted and in this case it will be highlighted, um, Uranus symbol symbolism will be highlighted about a week to either side so for the first week of August we may still feel that strong Uranian symbolism. Uranus is conjunct Eris in Aries, so it's very connected to sudden and unexpected events. But they, it can also represent, it's at 24 degrees of Aries, it can also represent sudden opportunities coming into your life. Or in this case, in the first couple of days of August, we also have Venus at 24 of Leo in a beautiful trine to Uranus at 24 of Aries. So this can be sudden, unexpected romantic meetings. Could be someone foreign or different from the kind of person uh, you've been with before. So that could be a beautiful sudden opportunity for you. But the new moon happens at 10 degrees 57 of Leo. It happens on the 2nd of August and it happens at 1.44 p.m. Pacific time and 9.44 p.m. UK time. Now, Leo, the sign of Leo, is all about creativity. It's about play. It's about having fun. So this new moon is really asking us if we're having enough fun in our lives. Are we having enough play? And it's also the sign that is most associated with the heart. And the heart isn't just a physical part of your being. There's been a great deal of research on the heart. And it, there's a lot of evidence now that if you breathe in and out of the heart, it slows and deepens your breath. And at the same time, if you have um, feelings of love or gratitude, high vibration emotions, you, not only does it make all your body systems much more coherent, but it actually significantly expands the size of your auric field. So, so we are starting to broadcast love out to the world in a much bigger way. Now, Creativity, which is linked with Leo, it isn't just are we painting a painting, are we writing a poem or composing a piece of music. I'm actually talking about co-creating your life because as we know, we all know the theory that we co-create our lives all of the time, but so often we fall back to a default position and we're creating from a, a less positive emotion. So how much better to start to create your life from love and gratitude which you're beaming out to the world than from fear or contraction because your life would really start to change in its manifestation if we were doing that. So this is a, a great opportunity and a great reminder. And 10 degrees of Leo, where this new moon is, um, it has a particular Sabian symbol. Sabian symbols were channeled. They were downloaded by a medium many, many years ago, but they're very accurate. And the Sabian symbol for 10 degrees of Leo is the early morning dew salutes the sunlight. Isn't that beautiful? So there's a feeling of freshness. There's a feeling of a new dawn that I think many of us want. So... It's, it, there's almost a feeling of after the long dark night of the soul or after the long struggles many of us have had personally and just watching events unfold in the world, we want a fresh energetic start. And this new moon provides that. It, it, it really feels like a very important new beginning where we can start to live in a heart-centered way. So really sort of be very aware through your days of how you can use that heart-centered breathing. It will make such a difference to your health and to your reality as well. Now, see where this new beginning, new moon falls in your chart, where is 10 degrees of Leo. 
because that will determine the kind of new beginning you're going to be experiencing. Is it in the fifth house? Is it romance or creativity? Is it in the tenth house? Something to do with your work or your life path, something new coming in there. So if you don't know where it falls, just check out the link appearing above me here or below in the description because you can then go to my store, get a two-part tutorial video series which will explain very simply and clearly how to, how to do this and it will give much richer meaning to everything I'm saying generally here. But what will help us as well in terms of our manifestation is just a few hours before this new moon in Leo, Mars moves from Scorpio into Sagittarius. Now, Mars is happy in a fire sign because Mars is about energy and fire signs are about energy and enthusiasm. So see where these early degrees of Sagittarius fall in your chart because if you've been struggling a little bit with a project or trying to get something off the ground and not quite having enough motivation or energy, this could really help you. It will give you more focus, more energy, more drive, more motivation. So that can really help move things forward for you. And also we have some beautiful higher guidance potential coming in at this new moon because Neptune, the planet of spirituality, um, consciousness, miracles, healing, is aspecting the sun and the moon, which all together at a new moon. Um, watch your dreams. Neptune is connected to dreams, so you could get high level information through in your dreams. At the same time, Jupiter at 24 of Virgo is opposing Chiron at 24 of Pisces. Now, it's been opposing Chiron for a while, but on the 12th of August, that opposition becomes exact. And Chiron, which I spoke about last time, is about shape-shifting. It's about a shift in perception to a higher level that changes reality for you. So strong potential for higher level information and guidance coming in. Also, on the 14th and 15th of August, we have Neptune being opposed by Venus, which is beautiful. That's very much about our beauty and colour and imagination and a finer perception. So all of this is, is incredibly rich and positive in terms of creativity, in terms of a spiritual impetus, and in terms of heart-centred living too. Saturn is also highlighted um, at this new moon and a little a little after that. Saturn at the new moon is trining both the sun and the moon and that can bring productivity into whatever we're doing. We have to use patience and discipline and diligence. Those are the watchwords of Saturn but if we do then our efforts can be very productive and Saturn can help bring a bit of stability into the picture too. Now, on the 13th of August, Saturn becomes stationary, stationary direct. Again, it's going to be highlighted. So because it's in Sagittarius, issues of truth are going to be highlighted. I've talked a great deal about these over the last few months, but truth, religious issues could be highlighted, borders, boundaries, walls, territorial divisions. Um, also athletics, um, Sagittarius rules sport, rules the thighs. So we could see those issues coming up particularly around the 13th. But um, the square between Saturn and Neptune, which has been running for some months, is really coming to a culmination in September. It's becoming exact before it starts to separate and, and dissolve, but it's also very much being highlighted by the big solar eclipse that we have at the beginning of September. So this is giving us, if you like, an astrological energetic opportunity to find our truth and live our truth day to day, live our authenticity. So really do ask yourself if you've, if you've achieved that yet, because this is what this whole square is about. In another sense, it's about truth in terms of our leaders. You know, what can we believe? What can we not? What can we trust? What, what can we not? But personally, it's about living our truth and authenticity. So really, really encourage you to do that. And, and also what... Um, is, is kind of helping that theme as well, is we, we are beginning to form an aspect between Uranus and Neptune. And we had this in the 60s, and it's about a, a spiritual community, 
an inspired spiritual community. Now we're going to see much more of this aspect in 2017, but it really feeds in to this sense so many of us have of wanting to live in a different way, wanting to live in a better way, wanting to live in a more loving and respectful way. So really enjoy the opportunity that this new moon in Leo gives you because your heart matters, your love matters, beaming out your high vibration matters and What Leo is all about is letting your light shine more brightly in the world really matters. So enjoy this opportunity. If you'd like more information about my book, my audio book, my free 4,000 word newsletter every month, um, my tutorial videos, just check out my website, pamgregory.com or thenextstep.uk.com. Thanks so much for listening.